So um, sometimes we have uh, identical twins um, that express certain characteristics that the other twin doesn't, uh, doesn't express. Um, in this case, we have a disease that's called uh, PKU. Uh, which is an inherited condition. Uh, if you've ever looked at the side of a Diet Coke can, uh, they say uh, contains phenylalanine. And phenylalanine is a uh, amino acid that somebody who has PKU cannot tolerate. And if they drink phenylalanine, their body can't break it apart, apart and it ends up being essentially poison to them. So they know what to look out for. There's a lot of times uh, warning labels on products that have phenylalanine in it. Um, I'm somebody who can't tolerate uh, artificial, artificial sweeteners. If I uh, get like uh, sucralose or Splenda, my throat closes up. And so I think that there's going to be a lot better uh, labeling of foods, hopefully, coming up here in the future. Uh, but the ones that could cause certain death, like the ones that have peanuts in it that could cause death in somebody that has a peanut allergy, uh, there's uh, some that have soy, some that have milk products. Uh, that's why things are getting to be labeled a lot better than, than they used to be. Um, because we're seeing a lot more people having these, uh, these recessive diseases. So uh, drinking diet soda can be deadly if you have that one single bad gene. And so um, what gene is it and why is it so deadly? It's the one for PKU, and if you have that, you can't, uh, you can't digest the phenylalanine, um, and it's essentially going to be poison to you. So the next question is uh, how the environment can affect, uh, can affect genes. Uh, if you've seen a Siamese cat before, uh, they usually have kind of a light coat to them and then they've got a uh, darker color around the nose and around the eyes and on the paws. And so um, the environment, the, uh, the hot or the cold, actually affects the way that Siamese cats uh, have their coloration. So uh, it's also common in rabbits. If you look at these, you can see uh, the spots where they have uh, cool cool uh, to the environment around them, um, they're going to be a darker color, and then where they're, uh, where they're not so cool, they're going to have a light body color. So some pigment genes produce dark pigment only under cold conditions. So this could change in, uh, in response to the seasons. So uh, often happens in, what do you think? Hi. Uh, such as the tail, nose, ears, and feet. Um, it is not so much that you could put an ice pack on them and it'd be like a mood ring, um, but they, uh, they do change and they get uh, darker colors in the winter than they do in the summertime. So we usually think of genotypes like the, uh, the blueprints for what we're going to eventually look like. But what we've come to realize is that our phenotypes, the physical appearance that we have, are a uh, product of our genotypes, so whatever genes it is that we have, and then a combination of what's happening in the environment around us. So most traits are passed on as independent features. That's what uh, goes along with Mendel's law of uh, independent assortment. And so back when Mendel was doing his experiments with the pea plants, uh, he didn't know that genes were carried on chromosomes. Basically, if you didn't know that there were chromosomes, you didn't understand exactly how genetics worked, then... Uh, could you not do that while I'm talking? Thank you. Um, then he just basically thought that all of these characteristics were floating around inside of an individual and that they just were randomly uh, passed along to offspring. So now that we look back and we uh, study things under microscopes, it makes sense that we have certain genes that are carried um, on the same chromosomes with other ones. Um, he believed that they all behaved independently, but we now know that that's not true. Uh, the best example of that is red hair and freckles. We know that uh, somebody that has red hair often has freckles because the genes are on the same chromosome and are inherited together. So, uh, does everybody know who that is? Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan, back when she was still sane. <laughs> when she was still right, there you go. Um, so, 